Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and I hope you've been enjoying the recent price recovery across major cryptos over the last day or two. Now, quite understandably, crypto headlines have been dominated by events in Ukraine and the cryptocurrency world's reaction to those events. Now, only recently I was reading about Animoca Brands' decision to go against the status quo established by top exchanges like Kraken by, quote, cutting its services to Russian customers in response to the invasion of Ukraine. However, I thought we'd take just a few minutes to talk about a very telling story in the NFT space, an area that hasn't received quite so much attention as usual in recent days and weeks. Now, some of you may have heard about the recent debacle involving a project called Pixelmon. As you may have guessed by the name, Pixelmon is a project inspired by traditional games like Pokemon, looking to establish a leading game in the blockchain space complete with its own metaverse and NFTs. According to the project's site, quote, Our vision for Pixelmon is simple. Create the largest and highest quality game the NFT space has ever seen. The aim is to build a virtual metaverse where you can play with friends, battle and train Pixelmon, trade items, decorate your home and customize your virtual character. Now, up until recently, Pixelmon appeared to be on track to see a good level of success, and it was already developing a strong and engaged community. At the time of shooting, Pixelmon's Twitter has more than 210,000 followers, and it has an active Discord with nearly 35,000 members. It's even witnessed a successful mint drop issued via Dutch auction and beginning at a 3 ETH mint, meaning some minters paid more than 8 thousand dollars for a Genesis Pixelmon NFT. Now this mint generated a whopping 70 million dollars in funds raised for the project. These NFTs were meant to be special as though a number of Pixelmon will be available to catch in game this will never be the case for generation one Pixelmon. They will only be available at mint and on the secondary market. So Everything was going well right up until the artwork for those Generation 1 NFTs was revealed. Let's just say, remembering that some mints cost more than $8,000, the NFT artwork looked like this. Now, suffice to say, minters were less than impressed. Pretty soon, the reveal was being dubbed comical by pundits, with one commenter taking to Twitter with the following message. So, Pixelmon just raised over $70 million at 3 ETH per mint just for them to reveal like this. I think it's fair to say all the buyers were rugged. Stop supporting cash grab NFT projects. Now, the Pixelmon NFTs were described as broken and even a scam. And shortly thereafter, Cyber, the lead developer behind the Pixelmon project, described the OpenSea NFT reveal as a horrible mistake and has since apologized. According to Cyber, the reveal was unacceptable. Now, at the time of shooting, the Generation 1 Pixelmon NFTs have an OpenSea floor price of just 0.37 ETH, meaning that a high number of minters are operating at a very substantial loss indeed. Now, this is really just a high-profile example of a phenomenon that is prolific in the NFT space. We at CoinBearer HQ are big believers in the future of non-fungible tokens and the ways in which they'll impact the world. However, there are a number of NFT projects that generate hype, excitement, engagement and revenue on the basis of promises and expectations that will never be fulfilled. Investing in very early stage projects can yield gains and profits never before seen outside of cryptocurrency. However, it's vital to remember the risks involved with such a strategy. Sometimes you're just as likely to see your money disappear as you are to experience a 100x. Now, the Pixelmon case is certainly an entertaining one, if you didn't shell out three ETH for one, that is, and it will be interesting to see how the team responds and if they're able to recoup the loss of face by developing a functioning and enjoyable game. The onus is most definitely on them. But remember, folks, always be diligent and always do your own research before investing in a project, especially an early stage one. 